in this game, I know a lot of people who come into it new, especially now we have console that's coming up, you might feel discouraged to actually play this game. But if you're someone like me, who's not running the game on the best hardware, this is the tutorial for you because I tend to make things that are still playable. With my builds, they're usually fairly simple. They just have this look to them that people seem to like. So I'll give you a tutorial on how to achieve this look. All right, so we are at the moment here at the habitat of question. And this is what people have been wondering about, like how I did this and that it took so, takes so long to make something like this and yada, 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 it doesn't. And I'm not going to be talking about much, you know, about the building aspect of this little thing here, but I will be talking about the penguin part of things and we'll make a smaller version of this right next door. I won't use it, but you might as well just make it. Step one terraforming you need to really make sure that you terraform a little bit if you want to achieve some kind of vista some kind of special look to what you're making and i usually don't go very tough on these things so in the beginning i picked the biggest brush and once you pick the biggest brush you can just slightly raise it i mean i already raised too much but that's okay we can fix that and then i flatten a section of what we just raised so let's do like this, and then we're going to smooth the edges, and we're just going to take the biggest smooth tool. Now, mind you, this is not a detailed version of what I do. It's a short tutorial. Now we have a little bump in the sand, okay? And it might not look like much, but in a second, it's gonna look like a lot. So next thing that we have to do is we have to go ahead and place the pathing around where you want the, you know, path to be. I would always suggest don't make like a whole circular look to the paths, especially if you plan to play the game and you have smaller animals that get stressed out really easily. You need space for them to not be viewed. And the best way to achieve that is to not give the guests the ability to view them. So I'm making this kind of half island look. And then next up is terraforming again. Now, why is it important to terraform again is because we need a little pool here. Okay. And we cannot achieve that pool unless we terraform. So we're going to do a tiny little pool. We're gonna select off a line surface so everything's flat to begin with. Turn on angle stack. Then we do. We just have to align it good enough. Yes, good so far. So now we have this pool liner thing. It's one single piece, but that's no problem. Then all I need you to do is start lining it along the pool and it doesn't have to be you know some people like to do it like perfect like this but that doesn't work for my build so i'm not going to do that i will do it this way especially for this tutorial i want it to be fairly simple and easy to follow now you just have to i'd rather do this with angle snap on to be honest because it makes it much easier another tip that i can give you is do the pool lining first so on a flat surface do the pool lining and i'll show you what i mean right now of course we already started ahead with terraforming and everything but what I usually do to make my job easier is I make a pool lining beforehand. So I will just work on a flat sand or flat terrain and I'll just make the pool ahead of time. Then I will terraform it according to the shape of what just, you know, I came up with. That makes it a bit easier, but today we're picking easy, but not that easy. So then we just have to work on this little thing. Okay. Now see, you have that little gradient look only because I tilted the plaster that we use for the pool lining a bit that it goes into the dark water and the more surface level it is, more of the water you see because we've also made the water less transparent. Now we see more of a difference as it goes deeper. And the more darker it goes down, the more it matches the undertone we've picked for it. So this is what you should just focus on doing in the beginning and you can just edit the imperfections later on if you want. Um, if you see, I've actually not edited this one at all. I didn't touch the color of this plaster pool in the middle of the penguin pool because it just, I didn't feel like it. I didn't want to sweat the small stuff. I didn't notice it at the end. Next up, everyone's favorite. What is it? Decorations. We're going to decorate now. We're done with the pool. This was the, the, the pool is the most difficult part. Put that in your mind for one second. The pool is the most difficult part of doing this. So you don't really need so much talent to make things that are really gorgeous. You need just a little bit of creativity, a concept in your mind, and maybe some research. That's what I did, for example, to create this pool beforehand. I've looked at, because my zoo is very much inspired by Palm Springs, California. 
And I was thinking, okay, what can I do to make this as Southern California desert, uh, you know, architecture as possible? And then I looked at some pools and motels. I even watched Trixie Motel. I made a build for that too, by the way, and I think it's uploaded now. They're not single place rocks. Um, they are these aquatic full rock pieces. And all you do with these is to make them look realistic. You go down into this menu where you have angle snap, which is speed control, yada, yada, yada. You have to first toggle off position snap and position snap rotation. Do not position snap these things because if they snap to each other, it's going to be difficult to work with them. Click on a live surface and random rotation. And that's it. That's all you need. And you might have to do a little bit of work yourself, but let's start placing them already. So I like to, first of all, place them this way and leave some gaps in between. We'll work with those gaps later. Okay, now we have a bunch of rocks and the rock, rock work, in my opinion, looks pretty great. Now we have a bunch of rocks here. What do we do next? Yeah, we're going to need the gravel that I like put here. And these gravel are the East Asia Zen pieces. They are pebble pieces. You can achieve this. I think this comes with Platazu Plus mod. Not too sure, but I would have to look into it. So I just use Align to Surface and I do turn off random rotation for these ones because if you have it turned on, since they're kind of like plaster pieces, it makes your job a bit more difficult than it should be. So we don't want to do that. Um, and then we just do this and this. Just use do the flat parts you can first. Then you can work your way around the rest of it. So we're going to do this part, this part. Now, would you look at that? We have a whole pebble pool with nice rock work around it that kind of matches the color of the pebbles. And the last thing we have to do is the foliage. And uh, the foliage is honestly the most fun part of this because it takes less time than any of the other, any of the other stuff. Um, and all you have to do is place the foliage in the imperfect spots. And I'm not going to work on it too much right now because I just want to make a point that you don't need talent to play this game. Anyone can build talent for this game. So then you just play some, uh, play some common salt words. I like to use these kind of, um, you know, desert environment flowers for beach settings. It just works better in my opinion, because it's more realistic. Um, so I would use small ones and big ones and just a mix of, mix of a bunch of things. Just make sure that you, you know, mix it up a bit and don't just use one type of foliage. So what I like to do is have a foliage palette, then we'll do this and this and it just randomly rotates the leaves on its own so we don't have to deal with it ourselves i'll do this and this now we use one type of tree but that's not an issue okay it's fine we can just let it be now here on this side where there's no island um you would preferably have like a shelter and a an habitat and shelters are easy enough to make but i'll make a different um tutorial on those like this is the penguin shelter that I made and it's very fairly simple. It uses only three materials from the game. Um, it's really not difficult to make something like this. And um, yeah, the rest you would just put the habitat gate, maybe the smaller one. And bam, you have a really nice habitat with a pebble pool and it looks really gorgeous for what it is. I hope this video really helped all of you. If you have any questions, please let me know down below. I can make a video about anything. Lately, I really have been wanting to get back into my little video editing and production um, era vibes. It, this is the vibes at the moment. So just let me know if you need any more help. You can also just, uh, if you find me on Reddit, because I do post these things on Reddit, um, just reach out to me from there. Hope you liked this video and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.